Hello and welcome to The Journey We Travel. There are chapters listed at the bottom of this video description, so if you'd like to get to a specific spot on this video, simply click on the chapter section below. Don't forget to support this channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks and welcome to our journey for today. Today we go on a journey to visit the wonderful country of Nicaragua. In today's video, we're going to explore all the beauty, excitement and wonderful things to do in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. To learn why, it's an excellent place to enjoy your retired lifestyle. Did you know that a couple can live here for about $1,500 a month? With about $450 a month, you can find a one-bedroom furnished apartment close to the beach. Yes, you heard it correctly. One-bedroom apartment close to the beach. In Canada or America, that's unheard of. You can maybe approximately spend $250 a month on food, and that's with eating out at many different restaurants within the month. You can find plenty of restaurants down there that offer Asian wraps, Mediterranean food, Indian food, and several authentic Italian restaurants. There's something for all you food lovers to enjoy. Without further ado, let's get into the top 5 reasons to retire in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. Imagine yourself lying on your hammock by the beach, where you are enjoying the amazing view of the sunset. Feeling the warm cool breeze brush across your skin. Watching as the waves of the ocean go by. As you imagine, we get into our first reason why retirement in Nicaragua sounds great. Number one, the weather. Nicaragua has a climate for everyone, which makes it great for those individuals who don't like the heat. It has a subtropical climate weather. It's not as humid as other countries further south. The average temperature is about 80 Fahrenheit, which is about 26 Celsius. Now, if that's too hot for you, you can consider retiring in the highlands that have cooler climates such as San Diego. The city San Juan del Sur has two distinct seasons, dry and wet. The wet season takes place during the winter months of mid-May to mid-November. The rain usually happens at night when you're sleeping and the rainy days don't last very long. Making it great to go outside and enjoy plenty of outdoor activities during the season. Surfers like to go to Nicaragua during the rainy season because the swells come from the southern hemisphere and the surfing is better. October is the wettest month of the year. Torrential rains are few and far between during these months. The month of October is when you'll see most of the rainfall. Mid-November to May is the dry season. November, December and January are the coolest months. Keep in mind that when we say coolest months, that means a temperature of about 75 Fahrenheit, which works out to be about 24 Celsius. Number 2. Cost of Living Now, with inflation and the cost of living rising in America and Canada and other parts of the world, knowing that you can live a lifestyle of luxury for a fraction of the cost in Nicaragua. That sounds like more than a reason to celebrate and consider moving there. A single person can budget to live at approximately $1,000 per month. Couples can budget approximately $1,500 per month. Keep in mind that the budget can easily go up depending on the lifestyle you choose to live. 
What we mean by that is if you're a type of person who has to have those imported goods because that's just what you're used to, then consider the price of your budget going up. Now, if you want to embrace the local culture and eat fresh food, fruits, vegetables, and things that are not imported into the country, then your cost of living will surely be cheaper. Number three, healthier food. It should come as no surprise to you when we say that the amount of chemicals being put into the food we eat within Canada and America has gotten out of control. Now, if that is something of concern to you, and you want to put much healthier food within your body, then considering living in Nicaragua is a great place to start eating much healthier. There is no such thing as GMO down there. They are not allowed to put that in their food. No injecting foods down there with any sort of chemicals. Everything is natural. You can get fresh fruits, vegetables and eggs from a neighbor's backyard. Number four, luxury lifestyle. Bearing in mind that luxury can look different from different people's standpoint. So, depending upon you as an individual, what you consider luxury may not be luxury for someone else who's used to having more. But if you consider Having a cleaner come to your house maybe twice a week and only have to pay them about $30 compared to the cost of having a cleaner in Canada or America. Or you can have a gardener come and look after your gardening outside and do the yard work for about the price of $15 to $20 once a week. You can get a chauffeur to drive you around for the day at a very low price. Number five, amenities. There are a wide variety of amenities or things you can do in San Juan del Sur. Here are just a few. Horseback riding on the beach. This can be relaxing and very romantic. In San Juan del Sur, it is a very popular activity amongst couples. They have horseback riding tours on some of the most spectacular beaches in the area. The guided tours can take place any time of the day. In the early morning, afternoon or during the beautiful sunset. The duration of the tours is 5 hours and costs about $65 per person. Or you can learn some Spanish while you're down there. Learning a new language, especially if you intend on spending a great amount of time in South America, Spain, or Central America would be great. You are never too old to learn something new. Besides, for the price of about $5 per hour, why not? You can go online and look up some of the popular Spanish teaching schools in San Juan del Sur. They even offer unique cultural and outdoor activities such as world-class surfing, dance classes, cooking classes, zipline tours, Hiking at the Masaya Volcano National Park. Day tour of Ometepe Island. It would be great if you can support this channel by simply clicking on that subscribe button and turning on your notifications so you don't miss out on exciting videos about travel destinations and more. Don't forget to check out our playlist of top videos showcasing the best places to visit, live and retire. Until next time, happy and safe travels.